Hey everyone, welcome to Atlas Gaming. Please like and subscribe. I release content every day. Today we're playing Leafling. This um this looks ambitious. This is a free-to-play um, multiplayer online RPG. In a, it's in a 2D world. Right now it says they have 18 classes available to roll. Um, limitless build variety. A lot of good points here. Um, I'm reading on Steam, and so we're just doing character creation. Right now, I'm not seeing 18 classes, but I'm guessing uh, that'll they'll show their faces later on. So I think we'll be a hunter. I'm just kind of just going through the steps here. A lot of times, I find in these games... Oh, we can't choose a hunter. Oh, wait. Huh. Oh, okay. No, so you select it. I don't know why I deselected that. Okay, so select here, and then create. A lot of times in these games, it's... Oh, you very guard the home of your ancestors and their ancestors before them, a large and bountiful land of abundance, which has sustained humanity since time immemorial. This prosperity, however, would leave its captors complacent and careless. Okay, if you want to play this game, um, I'm sure this story's good and you can get immersed in it. This video is going to be mostly about gameplay, so we're just going to kind of go through all these. I like the artwork. But yeah, a lot of times in these games, for the third time, I'm going to try to complete this. Look at all these guys. Um, it's hard to know what you want to play uh, because sometimes you might have a certain play style, but where are we? There we are down here. But, um, oh. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. There's a lot going on. So sometimes you have a certain play style, but it's not like you are uh, dead set on playing that one type of class. And so uh, after a while of playing, you might learn that you like something more. So I just kind of choose something at random. Hey, you, over here, come speak with me. Is that Noah? Oh, good. Oh, thank you for using industry standard controls. <laughs> W-A-S-D to move, E to uh, attack and interact. Okay, so I guess we're just gonna line up here to, to talk to Noah. So we'll run up to him. I just pressed E and it brought up this dialogue down here. New arrival, A. My name is Noah. Welcome to Artemia, my friend. I'm sure you're eager to set off and start exploring, but first, why not help me around the camp and get your bearings? There's coin and honest work, and you'll need coin if you don't plan to s don't plan to starve your first week. It looks like English was the developer's first language, which is cool for me because I speak English. First thing, speak with Haldric and tell him I sent you. He'll gear you up and get you combat ready. Who's? Oh, he's right there. He's right next to us. A new adventure. After months at sea, you finally arrived at Artemia, the last bastion. For adventurers and explorers alike, Noah has informed you that Haldric has need of extra hands for work around camp. And you just so happen to need coin. Perhaps it's time to get your feet wet. Okay, looks like Almas is our currency. We've got a novice bag. It's probably not as good as a bag of holding, but we'll see what we can do. Okay, so the... Exclamation point and question mark markers signify NPCs with quests and tasks for you. Proceed to Haldric to continue the quest. Okay, so we can't just click. Uh, oh, nope, I didn't didn't want that. Um, there we go. Okay, come up here again. Just W A S D. You cannot click to move. It's not like a Diablo type thing, but you can. Look at that. He's kicking the air. I left clicking. Watch. Okay, let's go up here and talk to Haldric. I'm going to press E to interact. I saw the ship anchor. You must be part of the 12th. I welcome you to our team yet. It pleases me to see new muscle with that glint in your eye. Let's put you to work and see what you're worth. Head into my tent. Okay. You'll find a wooden chest with some spare gear. It isn't Atlantean steel, but you wouldn't want to be on the receiving end all the same. Once you're fitted, come back and we'll see about putting some coin in your pocket. Ooh, that guy's got a spell. You can see it. Up here in the top left. It's pretty distracting right now, frankly. So once you're fitted, come back out and we'll uh, see about putting some coin in your pocket. Sounds good, Haldrick. Thanks a ton. 
Okay, so I just cut. I didn't. I just walked in. I just walked in the door. Look at that. It's intuitive. The door is open, and you can walk inside. I love it. Okay, so here's a gear chest. Okay, yeah, just go up there and uh, press E. Doesn't do anything. That's brutal. I like how he kicks the air, though. Watch. <laughs> okay, so... Oh, there we go. For some reason, it's like I can get behind him, and sometimes I can't. Uh, okay, so maybe... Oh, so I just picked something up and then have to go up here. Okay. I just pressed I to bring up the inventory. I'll press C to bring up character. And so, okay, cool. I can drag this around. I like it. It's not the prettiest UI, but I'd rather have functionality like this than it be pretty and stuck to the side of the screen. So let's check this out. Let's go back to I. Okay. Oh, so you just left click on it once and he equips it. Nice. Super easy. And then I'm not sure what the E means. Watch out. Watch out. Maybe um, that's to unequip it. And. Okay. Very good. You know, I haven't looked at the, the system requirements for this, but I'm pretty sure they're low. <laughs> Most people could probably play this on a garage sale PC if they were so inclined. Are all, gear, all geared up? Good. Before you can get to work, there are a few things I need to be sure of. I can't just send an unprepared whelp into the woods to be slaughtered. Prove to me you can fight. Defeat three cloppy. Go on. I'll be watching. Okay, so target closest enemy and... That's not an enemy. Pick up items is space. And left clicking. Holding the left mouse button also works. I don't... And you don't have to target him, you just run up to him and kill him. Watch out! Watch out! No, other way. Oh, I'm getting the tortoise too! You want some tortoise? And then we will... Let's see, we're gonna pay it. Yep, just press space. Picked up some raw meat there. That guy's launching stuff at me. Probably not at me, probably just missed. We'll go back to Haldrick. Look at that, we're at half health, not good. Good work out there, you can definitely defend yourself. Now... Or next, let's make sure you can return to safety should you be uh, injured in the field. Continue. I'm going to teach you an ability called Recall. Is it Total Recall? This ability will allow you to teleport to a goddess statue you've prayed at. Okay, so fast travel notes. <laughs> Go pray at the goddess statue in the encampment and use their ability Recall. Once you've done that, come back to me and we'll set you on your way. Okay. I'm guessing this is looking less and less like an encampment as we go. Here it is. Well, if I would have been paying attention, it does have the little, <laughs> like, super uh, aggressive, a <laughs> little blinking question mark in the bubble. So go up to it, press E. You approach the statue. It glows at your touch. Your respawn point has been set. Oh, fast travel node works. Now try casting recall from your spell menu to teleport to your respawn no, I'm going to listen to Haldrick. He told us to come back. Thanks, though. Good work. Keep recall in mind. It will be of great use to you on your journey. Now, the final step will be registering you into the guild. The Explorer's Guild was formed as a safety net for the new explorers of Artemia. You want to introduce yourself to the Guildmaster and register yourself into the guild. From there, you can take on odd jobs, civilians, typo. Uh, send in, of course, you get your fair cut of the Almas. Almas. Oh, boy, this is... Okay, <laughs> there's a lot of reading. The guild isn't far, just straight north in Journeyman's res respite. respite. Please be respectful in the town. It was humanity's first colony Ar on Artemia, and many scholars regard it as sacred ground. You'll find the guild in the northwest corner of the town. Huge building, you can't miss it. So, northwest building of the town... Good. Um, I need to go to spells. So, oh, look at this. There are little buttons down here. Just noticed. Okay. The spell book. Is that recall? Oh, I see. It's, um, okay. It's like the, the wings of Marathon. Return yourself to safety, warping you to your chosen respawn point. Cast time is five seconds. Cooldown is 60 seconds. Um, are you sure you want to forget recall? No, no, no. Dreamer Shore, Hope to... So I think I just cast it. 
and it brought us back right there. So you can see it's on cooldown now. Pretty cool. This game so far, I have uh, really positive first impressions. Um, yeah, obviously, you know, the graphics, um, th this is the type of game it is. And so if you are a big graphics person, you need good graphics in order to be able to join a game, which is fine. There's uh, different games for everybody. And this game probably isn't for you. Although the detail involved in level creation here and um, the enemy modeling and everything is, is really high for this type of game. So I'm saying it's really detailed. I like it. Oh, are we, oh what the heck is going on there? Okay. And so the, the camera stopped panning with me and kind of took me off for a second. You see that? You hit the edge of an area where you can't go and then it'll teleport you back, I guess? Get out of the way, cloppies. Yeah, I like the shading, like the, the color shading the, on the models as part of the artwork. That just must be lag. There must just be lag here. I am not downloading anything, though, so I've got a decent internet connection. It's 100 megabits. And so um, I think... Beta tester. Ooh, you got a tag above your name. Nice. Why do you want to talk? Let's talk. Oh, you're one of those new explorers, aren't you? Please, you have to help me. My daughter, Clover, lost her favorite necklace in the sea, and she's been distraught ever since. <laughs> so, how many people have found the same necklace today? If you can help me gather some seashells to make her a new one, I'll be willing to pay you. Okay. So... Okay, so the daughter has lost her favorite necklace. is offering payment. Okay, so... Rewards 100 almas, 1 seashell charm, 100 experience, requirements level 1. I'm not sure if we can do it. Okay, and then E doesn't work. She's done talking to us. So let's just um, check this out. Quest log. Okay, and so nice. We come here. It's all super intuitive. Uh, you agreed to aid Anne Marie and gather seashells to recreate her daughter's lost necklace. Gather 15 seashells and bring them to her. I'm pretty sure we have some. We do not. I remember picking some up. No. No, no, those are my seashells. Nobody get them. Space. Um, these are... Oh, these are not seashells. These are uh, sea stars or starfish. Okay, that's going to be an issue, I think, is the lag. I'm going around trying to press space on things. Ooh, that's a sea se seashell, isn't it? I'm trying to sp press space on things. It's not working. Um, we're going to move on. I th I'm... This is one of those things where there are obviously not as many seashells as the cloppies. Maybe other people are getting them. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. But yeah, so the, the lag could be an issue. You know, it depends on how intense combat gets. If it's pretty relaxed like this for the whole time, I don't think it'd be that big of a deal. If it's like raid level combat where, you know, timing is important and there's a lot going on, then yeah, it's definitely going to ruin everyone's day. But for now, I think uh, it's good. This is day one of release. Again, this game is called Leafling. L-E-A-F-L-I-N-G. We're going to come up here, but first we're going to check out our quest log. So that, that one can sit there for a while. We, we might be back to the shore. So a new adventure. I just wanted to kind of... It's been a minute since we read this uh, quest, and I just kind of wanted to go through the dynamics, right, of the game because... Um, I know I use the quest log a lot whenever I have quests and just to reference them and stuff. So regardless of it being necessary, um, we're just going to reference this and check it out. So I agreed to aid Haldrick with some work around the camp. This should help me get my bearings and make some coin as well. Current task, travel to Journeyman's Respite and speak with Guildmaster of the Explorer's Guild. Okay. Um, I'm pretty sure we just go up here, right? Yeah. Okay, here's the world map. That's cool. Oh, here's the Journeyman's Respite. Yeah, travel there. Can we just go right through it? Wait, back. Back. No. It, it looks like... I, I was just trying to say no. I don't want to travel here and then see if it would allow me just to pass through. Nope. Oh, look, you can see other people on the world map too. Hmm. Different colored gems here. I'm just checking out the different um, terrain and environments. Like there's a desert over here, right? There's a pyramid down here. Oh, 
Lost connection to the game server. Please make sure you're connected to the internet and try again. Well, I think that's just kind of a continuation um, of the, the lag issue. Same same problem, different symptoms. So I'm going to call it there for this one. This is Leafling. I think the game has a lot of... Oh, look at that. Server status online. A lot of promise in this game. Um, yeah, I, ho I hope they do well. Thanks for watching Atlas Gaming. I appreciate it. Please like and subscribe. I release content every day. We'll see you in the next one.